In this video, we will explore Entebbe, Uganda's beach town. Before we get started, make sure to like and share the video. And if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe. Our journey starts in Uganda's capital, Kampala. We are looking for one of these local taxi buses called drones. With one of these, the 26 mile journey only costs 4,000 Ugandan shillings, which is just $1. If you take a motorcycle, the trip is $10, and a car will cost $30 to $50. Yeah. In Tebe. Let's sit here. You want to talk first? Okay, so I'm in a local Ugandan taxi. This is how most of the local people move around. It's not too bad, but they get very crowded and uh, they stop a lot to pick up new people. Entebbe is quite undeveloped. Undeveloped? Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, compared to Kampala. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I think, that, I think they just don't give it a lot, because when you try to enter, 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 it also has some premium, premium places, but not the offices. But the town itself doesn't look so appealing like you would expect. Well, would you consider this to be the downtown of Entebbe? No, because mostly this is what is most regarded as the Entebbe town. People don't usually go the other side. Really? Okay, it's usually this one. Everyone knows all the taxis come this way. This is the main town. Probably it has, I know it has some neighborhoods mostly full of the soldiers, barracks for the soldiers and all. Those intelligence agencies, they have most of their offices around. Yeah. yeah. What about that area with the... With the bank? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that area is, actually that one is a side of town. But it's also part of Entebbe town. But the way you look at Kampala and you have Kabala Gala and Sanga side. Yeah. Yes? yeah. But just that, what I noticed that within that area, it was a little bit more of like a quiet, a lot of housing and good road neighborhood. Like it's just not so congested like town. No? Yeah. The other area. Yeah, it wasn't really so congested. Ah, actually, this is the part. Yeah, that's where I want to get this come out. Yeah. But that's that's where we moved down. Yeah. Go up in there, then come back. No, go up. Yeah. 
What is that? Hey, you wanna sell us and then I'm asking him even at your age, you think journalists sell people? Like everyone who has a camera is selling you. Why do you have that kind of mindset yet you're old? I told him at your old age you think even journalists sell you. I just looked at you. So where did that whole thing of selling you came from? Of course everyone would be like, hey, you want to you wanna take our faces and sell us out there? But sell you how? Just your picture, you're remaining in Uganda. <laughs> it's not like you're going out. And, and why would someone want to buy an old man I'm anyway? I've been wondering. That's why I, I just gave him. Because you'd expect someone like him is mature enough to understand. And if you see someone with a camera, could be maybe a journalist. Or someone doing their research or something. Yeah. Hey, that's a crazy kind of thinking. A man of such an age. <laughs> Yeah. You didn't go up to the taxi park. They also have a taxi park inside there. Okay. On the side? Yeah, on the park inside there in the town. When you arrive in Entebbe, this is the first part of the city you will see. It is surprisingly small compared to Kampala. Let's keep looking for some of the more built up areas. This is Chitoro, a recently renovated shopping area in the city. It has decently paved roads and dense buildings, giving it a more developed look than the first part of Entebbe we saw. Compared to Kampala, Entebbe has a much lower cost of living. From an investor's perspective, the area has some advantages, such as proximity to the country's international airport and tons of undeveloped lakeshore land and islands. But owning freehold land is quite difficult for non-citizens in Uganda. Most plots are sold on a 99-year lease. Yeah, that would be good here. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. 
Oh, you want us to use the main door? No. We put down here? Yeah? No, it looks better. It's just straight? Straight? Yeah. Okay. It always looks better going uphill okay. than downhill. So, mm -hmm. aside from the airport, what do they have in Entebbe? In Entebbe? Yeah. Uh, they have the reptile village. Okay, places that are uh, like at attractions, right? Good yeah. places to go. We have the reptile village, we have the zoo, the Uganda Wildlife Education Center. Then we have the, the beaches and some accommodations, hotels and resorts where people can have fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's a very small town. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a very big town. Just move with this and you're done. So I think the other one is... The city has many residential areas and they're very green. The climate of Entebbe is tropical, with no real dry season. You can expect it to rain on most days of the month, although it will rain less from July to September. I know when I post this, the Ugandan diaspora will be complaining. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll be saying, oh, the last time I was in Entebbe uh -huh. 30 years ago, yeah, and it, it looks was, exactly the yeah, same. It looks exactly like the same. There's no change over here. Yeah, it is very true. And those kind of conversations are good, keeps the comments coming. It keeps it, yeah. Mm -hmm. It keeps it busy. But despite being located almost right on the equator, the temperature here is warm but mild. You can stay outside without sweating, especially on the beaches with their cool lake breeze. Speaking of beaches, let's check them out. Okay, that should be good. On the left, you can see the beach resorts. Most will cost under five dollars to enter. That stuff was good during the means time. Like I mean, this is Arrow Beach, named after all these abandoned plains from the Idi Amin era. This particular beach is one of the cheaper options, and it is hugely popular with schools and other student groups who like to bring their pupils here.
The area has clean water for swimming and several bars and restaurants. Lake Victoria is a freshwater lake, but it is massive and has lots of white sand, giving it a nice ocean-like vibe. Let's continue to one of the higher end beaches called Coco Beach. Coco Beach is slightly more expensive and has a more mature atmosphere with lots of pretty ladies and booze. You can also find jet skis. Jet skis. Yeah, jet ski Uganda, any wave runner. Yeah. So we deal in jet skis. It's called a water scooter. Only jet ski. But not the speedboat. Ah, okay. The speedboat is different. The one that has the steering. Eh? Yeah. The one you steer and it carries around six. Okay. Rides start at 50,000 Ugandan shillings, which is around $13. We ended the day with some of the best grilled goat I have ever tasted in my life. It was served a juicy medium rare, which is uncommon in Africa. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.